Alicia Rondon. Rondon. Good morning. You are charged with not having your seatbelt on. What do you want to tell me about this? Well, um, I was coming out of McDonald's, literally, just got out of McDonald's. I left McDonald's. I go to the, it's literally at the light. He pulls me over right away as soon as I get out. It's the end of the month. I see him literally give it like two minutes. I'm going home. He's pulling over somebody else too. I tell him, officer, why you pull me over? He goes like, that seatbelt, that's why I pulled you over. You didn't know why you pulled me over. You pulled me over because you just wanted to pull me over. And honestly, I was literally two streets down. So I'm just like, are you serious? I'm like, it feels like you really just, I'm not going to argue with you. That's what you say it was. That's what it was. But Did you uh, offer the police officer any of your McDonald's? I mean, maybe if I did, he wouldn't be so mad. I think that's what it was. The car, I put down the, you know, put down the window. Car smells like McDonald's. It's smelling good. He, he's having a long day. He needs to get them tickets written down. I, I, I think that's what it was. He needed a Big Mac. He needed a Big Mac? Maybe a Big Mac. The okay. fries wasn't going to be enough. Well, next time, order two Big Macs. Next time, maybe. Now I know. Now I know. <laughs> so, <clears throat> did you finish your dinner or not? Did that take your appetite away? Yeah, it did. I'm glad you mentioned it, because it did. He ruined my day. It yeah. <laughs> you ate the French fries, though. The French fries I, I, I managed, but the rest of the food was just cold by the time I got home. Yeah. Yeah. He messed up a whole day. It was 1 o'clock in the morning when he stopped her. And I wasn't going to go to McDonald's. The funny part is I wasn't going to stop at McDonald's. No. So it's all McDonald's fault. If yeah. anything, we should be, the ticket is McDonald's fault. All right. Have you been to McDonald's since then? Oh, uh, I mean, yeah. You have? Even though, you know, that's the cause of all of it. I mean, you weren't, you weren't yeah. traumatized that bad, though. No. No. The no. hunger beat the, the as trauma. You, as you were driving by McDonald's, you got the whiff. Yeah. Just pulled right <laughs> in, right? Same thing. Right, Big Mac, French fries. Yep. Yeah. So, what do you think of this? <laughs> the no smell of those what fries, the judge, is very compelling. I don't know. I'm going to take into consideration the uh, totality of circumstances here. Plus, you have a good attitude. You know, you, you come across as being very forthright, very honest, very open. Right. This is not a case between you and the police officer. He did his job, as you you mentioned. But I think, given all of the circumstances, I'm going to give you a break on it. He didn't place anybody in jeopardy except yourself. He didn't have the seatbelt on. You were very, right there at home. Plus, how could you eat the Big Mac if you had the seatbelt on, right? You're going to get the seatbelt all full of mustard. What do you put on it? Mustard, what else do you put? Uh, honestly, I'm very simple. Just ketchup. Just ketchup? Yeah. Yeah, it'd be all red all over the seatbelt, <laughs> right? That's right. Okay, they're going to be watching you. You better be careful now. Okay, they're outside it. McDonald's every day. Yeah. Saying, you know, I wonder if uh, Alicia is going to come, be coming out today, right? With no seatbelt, pulling up in the drive-thru. Yep. I know. I have a feeling. And <laughs> if you get another ticket, just send the summons to McDonald's. Say, you're responsible for this. <laughs> Say, it's all, the, it's all the French fries fault. Hopefully. <laughs> good luck to you. Have a good day.